Hey there, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on impression video, the build 14393.5 that Microsoft has pushed to Windows Insiders in Fastring. It is the latest Windows 10 Mobile anniversary update, RTM build or Windows 10 Mobile uh, Redstone 1 build. So when we talk about RTM build, you may know that uh, the build 14393 is the RTM build and these are obviously the like 14393.3. And this 14393.5 are cumulative update builds. So these builds uh, bring fixes and improvements and not any major uh, changes or features. But obviously we have seen in case of uh, 10586, the last uh, threshold release build that, uh, I mean, they usually bring very important changes and improvements. So we will uh, first share our installation experience, then we will obviously take you through the multitasking and performance and see how the build works like. We will also share if we have seen any bugs or not. So coming to installation experience, the installation experience has been smooth. If for us it took around 30 to 35 minutes for the build to uh, get installed, uh, restarted, data migrated, etc. and uh, the device up and running. So, and it has happened for all the devices so we think that Microsoft again uh, like it's well sorted out for them and uh, the release when it finally happens on August 2nd or uh, further then it should be smooth. Now coming to how the build we have so it has been quite smooth affair for us. If you I mean play with this build you will feel like that you were playing with a kind of daily driver build it's quite smooth actually there are no issues that you will kind of feel. So the no lags, it all works quite well. So it's all good, I mean, in that way that the general navigation, general performance is good. You would not, I mean, kind of face any crashes, any reboots. I have not seen anything crashing or it rebooting. And uh, frankly speaking, we are, I mean, using this build as a daily daily driver for us for on many devices, not only one. So this is Lumia 550 and it's a, like a low-end device, so we thought of demoing it on this. But it's quite good actually. You can live with this build, but uh, it's obviously better to give a demo than rather than telling that how it works like. You can see how the video watching uh, looks like. We'll just open a game, one or two games, and we'll see how it opens, etc. So that we can just uh, talk about the performance a bit.
Let's send you to the background. They will open one more game. Let's open the traffic rider, the poker game, wildly poker game. And let's send it to the background. Let's quickly check how uh, the resume works. So these two games are not basically optimized for Windows 10 Mobile, but uh, still we can just quickly see. So as you can see, uh, it's quite okay for in case of rail rush. But in case of traffic rider, we have seen that it does not resume that fast because it's not that optimized. But still, I mean, it's uh, quite good to see that you can actually have two games open and uh, still it works on Windows 10 Mobile on a Lumia 550. So here you go again. There we are. Oh, anyways, so uh, we will quickly check the browsing now after the multitasking part. You can see that, I mean, the panning, zooming, etc. It presents a very good uh, kind of experience, quite smooth, even for a device like uh, Lumia 550. And this all works so well when you have uh, so many things open in the background. So as you can see that we have like two games open in the background and then as still the browsing works quite appreciably well so microsoft has really now sorted out the ram management etc the issues are gone and this uh, build looks now ready for the prime time there may be minor issues uh, like still we again talk about the bluetooth issues they still are existing microsoft not not has not sorted them out but with this build we have not faced any issue with the wi-fi or the mobile connection so it all has been quite robust, rock solid for us. The issue bit uh, still remains uh, with the, you know, optimization of some of the games. So I think Microsoft should work on two areas basically, uh, fixing the issues of Bluetooth connection, which still remains like a major issue or major thing which can be highlighted. And, and, uh, and perhaps it should work with the developers to optimize the games so that the experience remains good. So with that, uh, we come to end of this uh, video. Hope you have liked this video and hope you have liked the hands-on demo, hands-on impressions of the build 1439 3.5. Stay tuned for more. Keep watching.